All right, tonight we are learning more details about the University of Dayton student from Cincinnati who died Monday morning. Michael Curran was found badly injured early Sunday morning near UD's campus. And we're seeing loved ones and strangers come together to show their support for Michael's family. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joins us now live in Dayton with the very latest. Courtney. Tanya, I'm here on Wayne Avenue in Dayton, and this is where someone found Michael Curran hurt around 3.30 Sunday morning. I came here to see if there are any memorials going up in his honor. There weren't when I first got here, but now a family who lives here says they are about to build one right now. This guy is getting a lot of community support. Take a look. Donations have topped $50,000, and a pro football player is talking about Michael Curran's case. And I just wanted to do something to give back. Missy McCullough's son played golf at Archbishop Muller High School with Curran, and she started this GoFundMe page Tuesday. I thought if it was my son, I would want to find who did this. She says $5,000 of it will go to the person who helps police find out what happened to Curran. The rest will go to his family through a memorial fund. My heart breaks talking about it. Cincinnati Bengals player Sam Hubbard grew up near the Curran family, and like Curran, he also graduated from Muller High School. He was an amazing young man and, uh, you know, looking out for that family. Detectives still do not have many answers for them when it comes to how Curran died. He was attending the University of Dayton when officers think he left campus to pick up food early Sunday morning. By 3.30 that morning, detectives say someone found him badly hurt on Wayne Avenue. They won't confirm who made the 911 call or how Curran was hurt. Cousin Vinny's pizza manager, Tim Nartker, says detectives have stopped by, working to confirm the possibility that Curran may have been heading there to pick up food. The manager says his way of showing support is helping them gather as much information as possible. Curran's mother took him off life support Monday and donated his organs. The director of alumni at Muller says the family gave Curran an honor walk on his way to the operating room and played his favorite song, and surgeons honored him before the procedure. I, I, I can't wrap my head around that. School spokesperson Tara Grew told me today Curran's mantra was keep going. She wrote, we are also thankful for Michael's gift of being an organ and tissue donor. Please continue to keep his family in your prayers and respect their privacy as they grieve as well. Makula teared up, seeing how many people in the community also wanted to give back to the Curran family. And I had no idea that it was going to be this amazing. So thank you to everybody. And there you can see the families putting up that poster right there in honor of Michael Curran. It says rest in heaven, Michael Curran. The coroner's office says it may be able to release more information on what caused Curran's death as early as tonight. I also put in a request for the 911 call in this case. Reporting live in Dayton, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.